Welcome back to Llama Life. Today we are going to be doing a halter training. Wally here is going to be our happy participant and he is a little bit gun shy about having his head touched. So this is going to be perfect, a perfect example on how to halter break um, or at least do the intermediate steps of getting a llama used to their heads being touched and the halter coming on and off. So my first safeguard that I want to do because I'm out in the open, I'm not in a small training box, which is preferred and easier, but if you don't have access to a training box, you always wanna make sure that your llama is secure and can't get away from you. That's the biggest hindrance that you're gonna have is them just walking away in the middle of training. So what I like to do, it's frozen here, so my rope is frozen, but what I'm gonna do is take this end of my rope and wrap it around his neck. So even if he gets away from me, he's still attached to the wall, he can't go far. Stand. All right, come back over here, friend. Where are you going? So now that he is nice and secure and he can't get away from me, I can go ahead and start messing with the halter. I'm gonna keep this rope on it just in case the halter gets away from me. If I drop it or anything, it has a bigger, a, a bigger lead on it. All right, so first step, I want him to stay still through this entire process. So if at any point he jerks away, I'm gonna make him repeat it. Um, and all these little tinkling noises are really irritating to llamas. So I wanna make them until he gets kind of used to it because this shouldn't be bothering him. Once he holds still and is no longer pulling against me when I make this noise, I'm gonna move on. I'm not gonna take the halter all the way off in one foul swoop. That's kind of makes llamas nervous. So once I get it undone, I keep holding it together as if it's still on. That gives me time to place my hand and get control of his head. With my elbow on the back side, with my right arm back here, I'm gonna reach around and put a little bit of pressure on the neck. That way, if he tries to jerk out, I can stop that movement. My below hand is gonna stop him from pushing down. So I have complete control of his neck now, in theory. He's strong, he's a llama. <laughs> All right, so moving on to the next step. Now that I have my elbow secured around the back of his neck, kind of hooking him on the back, and my hand is secure underneath his chin, I'm gonna release that strap off the back and replace it with my hand. I want him to stand exactly where um, I put him. So if he jerks his head around, I'm gonna redirect him to look forward, keeping that pressure on the back of his head and bring him back every time he moves. Now with the lower hand, I'm gonna use my lower hand to bring the halter off. And while he doesn't like this, <laughs> I'm gonna really slowly bring the halter off and it's gonna come off on my terms. So once he holds still, I'll take it off. If he doesn't hold still, I'm gonna very quickly put it back on so we start over. And I wanna do it slow so he knows it's happening, but he has to allow it to happen. Easy. Talking quietly to llamas helps a lot too. Ooh. That was a little better. He didn't do a great job, so I'm gonna put it right at the spot that bothers him and we're gonna do it a lot. Right here at his lips makes him really, really uncomfortable. He doesn't like it. So I'm gonna just show him that there's nothing to be scared of and keep putting it on and off. Ooh. Since every time it's getting to that nose point, he jerks back, I'm gonna make sure to be ready with my hand this time. So he's letting me do this, but from the on to the off position, when he jerks back, I'm gonna put pressure with my thumb on the back of his head. Good, Wally. Good boy. So now that he's letting me easily do it on and off, I'm gonna put it all the way back on and start from the beginning. Do it up, make all my tinkling noises. <clears throat> Work on putting pressure. Sometimes you wanna kinda put pressure on their head by pulling gently, You're not trying to like make a hole in their head. But make some noises make the pressure change, and then start over by releasing that, placing the hand under the chin, locking the elbow around the back of the neck, and then trading pressure once I release this long strap over here, putting the pressure on the back of his head so that he knows he still needs to hold still. And then gently sliding it off. And try again. Sometimes this process with llamas takes quite a long time. Because the older they are, the harder the habits are to break. Wally is about eight years old, 
And when my guides halter him on and off, they let him do naughty things sometimes. But look at how much better he's doing. Good job, Wally. Good boy. Yeah, that's good. Every time I let my llamas go, no matter what I'm doing, if I've caught them to do a vaccination, caught them to put them on the scale, they went on a pack trip, every single time that I let my llamas go, I force them to put the halter on and off correctly. That makes it so they never learn any bad habits. Good job, let's do it again, you ready? All right, Wally, try number three. Let's see if he does a little better. Now he's starting to learn the game. So with an adult llama, you can do this over and over, probably between 10 and 15 times, and then it's time to quit. You wanna quit when they've done it really, really well, at least once, all the way through. You don't ever wanna quit when they've just gotten exhausted and they've started doing it wrong. Good. So that time, he did it perfectly. He never jerked anywhere. I'm gonna do it back up, and we're gonna leave it at that. Good. And I always do a nice reward of petting the neck, Two pets, maybe a pat at the bottom to symbolize we're all done. Wally did great, and now we're gonna release him from our, from our hold here. The next step of this halter training would to be uh, not to have this rope down here. Once he's gotten it really, really well, take the rope off, and then he's free. It's a whole new game once they're free. You have to really hold on. And it is much easier to be in a really confined space when you're doing that, so that if they do get away from you, you can easily catch them again. You never want them to win. You always get to win. Huh. Are you gonna have a kiss with me now? No. <laughs> here. Oh, mm. you okay, a hug instead. Come here. He doesn't want to hug. So there you have it, you guys. That is halter training from Wilderness Ridge Trail Llamas. Our way is not always the best way, but it's worth a try. Try it out on your llamas, see if it works. Leave us some comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you on our next training video.